Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching the video. Now I'm going to do a comparison between Spam and Bacon Grill. When I did a comparison between Spam and a cheap alternative, chopped pork and ham, I got lots of comments saying, why don't you do Bacon Grill? So I am. <laughs> Now, we used to have Bacon Grill when I was in the forces and it was way back in the early 90s. So, I, th I just thought, well, let's, let's see what it's like and let's see what it's like against Spam because there's a difference in price. So, let's have a look at what I've got. I went to um, Asden, I bought this Bacon Grill look. Now, this was £1.50 and 50 pence. It's 250 grams and it works out at 60 pence for 100 grams. I went to Tesco and I bought this Spam. Now this Spam was considerably more expensive. It was £2.45 and you get 200 grams so you get 50 grams less. This works out at £1.23 pence for 100 grams. I've got to do it, I really have. I'll put a link in my description on this video and if you click on that, it'll take you to the comparisons. You can go and have a look at the Spam versus the Chop Pork and Ham alternative. Difference in price, big difference. So this is, this is gonna take me back, I think. I was in my early 20s then and it just looked like a tin of sort of pink cold meat. <laughs> um, my culinary skills weren't that great then and they've probably not evolved a lot since then. But I'm gonna do it in the air fryer. I'm gonna air fry them both. And I'm gonna have them on some bread and butter. So let's get these open or let's have a look at the tins. I'll go in at the nutritional information. I can't get them side by side because of where the place but that is the spam one and that is the the other one the bacon grill so there's a little DK on the bacon grill look and it's packed in Denmark so I would imagine that, that that's what that sign is for a little code as well so let's have a look at the bacon grill one apologies the spam one DK 65 DK 65 so they look like the same codes there, produced in Denmark. So they're both produced in the sort of same place, I would say, 65 EF, 65 EF. So let's have a look at the ingredients. Little bit of spiel on the bacon grill. It says cured, chopped and shaped pork with smoke flavoring, spice extracts and milk protein. They are the ingredients. We've got pork, 65%. The allergen is milk. Preservatives. Let's have a look at the spam ingredients. Pork, 89%. So we can see straight away there's more pork in the spam. 65 plays 89. And ham is 2%. There's no other percentages on the bacon grill. Served with egg, mushrooms and a couple of hash browns. Oh, 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 oh yes. Oh, recyclable. So they both come with a ring pull as well. That's a ring pull on top. And that is one way you have to peel it round like the old corn beef. So that's what we're going to do now. We'll get the spam open. I'm going to go live in December from the Christmas party on the Friday, the 23rd of December, if you're round and about. Please drop in and say hello, we'll get some beers and we'll have a good time. Just be careful taking that off. It can be, they can be dangerous. There, there it is, look. Spam. Let me know if you have spam at home. So let's try and get in this. I'll just, I'll just raise you up a bit. I'll, let's try and get into this bacon grill. So you take that off. That comes off. There's a little tab system on the side here you sort of place that in there like that 
and then we sort of roll it round and you can sort of peel it off. It's quite therapeutic that, I'll be honest. Just taking this off. Right, I'll spare you this. Now I've not learned, have I? Because on my last spam comparison, there it is, there's the bacon grill. And there's the spam. On my last spam comparison, I struggled getting them out. And I got lots of comments saying, put them in the fridge. They'll cool down and then you'll, they'll just pop out. Now I forgot to put them in the fridge. <laughs> I know, oh, rubbish. I was lucky that the, uh, they came out quite easy. It's not that warm in the kitchen. I'm just having a cup of tea. I'm parched. They, they came out, they didn't give us much resistance, I'll be honest. So I'm, I'm quite lucky because I think it's cold in the kitchen. We'll go at that brew for a bit. And they've been in the cupboard. Um, so a couple of knocks and they came out. So I'm quite lucky there. So if you like this, um, if you like the kind of video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It does help and it is free. Let me know if you have bacon grill and spam. I know I've got loads of comments. Do bacon grill. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to have to. <laughs> so it'll, it'll take me back if nothing else, I think. But we used to have the old egg banjos when we were away on exercise. That's what we used to have for morale, egg banjos. Please let me know if you're a, still a, an active service personnel please let me know if this is in your rat packs i'll be interested to find out what i've gonna what i've done now i've just laid them out like this i'm gonna cut them and i'm even gonna use um two different knives so we don't have cross contamination this is the bacon grill i'm gonna cut them quite thick because i'm gonna do them in the air fryer I'm going to see what they're like. I don't think I've ever done bacon grill or spam in the air fryer. I'll do three bits of each. I've, I've cut them to about that thickness, look. I have got another, another knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. And I'll cut the spam as well. But equal thickness. You do get a lot less as well. You get 50 grams lighter with spam, but you do get more pork content. Which is a difference. So I've just chopped them up and I'm going to get them in the air fryer now. We're not going to get these mixed up. The bacon grill is on the left and the spam is on the right. So I'm going to do it on air crisp. 200 degrees. That's why they call me Mr. Fahrenheit. Shocking, I know. Dad jokes. I can't help it. I'm going to do it for... I'll do it for six minutes and then we'll, we'll, we'll see how it is after six minutes. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to cut a bit off, I'm not going to eat, I'm going to eat it as it is, you can eat it like this, of course you can, but I'm going to, um, I'm going to see what it's like, I'm going to eat them both together when it's fried and grilled at the same time, now these are absolutely fantastic for camping, when we, when we go camping, and we do go camping a lot in summer, we take the old spam, well, We'll see what this is like. I might be taking this in future. What I normally take, I don't take spam. I normally take the chopped pork and ham. I've buttered my bread. Ready. Got my cup of tea. Got my brown sauce. I've always got to have brown sauce. Um, and these are ready here now. Big match tonight. Football England versus Wales. Be interesting to watch. It really will. Ooh, it's divided on this one. It really is. We've got some good friends from Wales and my granddad was Welsh spent pretty much every summer in Wales on holiday and I am English so it's divided it really is and I can't wait to watch it tonight right it's cooling down I'm just gonna flip it over now I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna do I've just flipped it over I'm gonna put it back down again because I want to get it all crisp they're done. I'm going to get them out now because I fear um, if I air fry them anymore, there'll be nothing left of them. So this is them out of there. There's the bacon grill. And this is the spam. The spam looks darker in colour. 
than the bacon grill. So it's taste test time now, isn't it? There's a bacon grill. It's gone very dry, very dry. That's the old um, air fryer for you. It dries everything out. Oh, you're definitely getting that smoky flavour coming through. Smoky bacon. It's well seasoned as well. Doesn't need any more salt. Oh yeah. I'll try a bit now. Bacon grill, which hasn't been in the air fryer. Obviously a lot softer. Flavour is not an, as enhanced as it is done in the air fryer. I'm going to try Spam. This will be, well, it's a totally different flavour to the bacon grill from past experiences. Mm. Spam is good though, it's tasty. It hasn't got the um, the smoked flavour of the bacon grill, but it's it's tasty as well. Basically, this boils down to, if you like smoked bacon, get the bacon grill. If you don't like smoked bacon, get the spam. But you're getting more bacon grill with the Asda because it's cheaper and you're getting more as well. But I like them both, but the, the true test is a sandwich, isn't it? Let's be honest, the true test is in a sandwich. So I'm going to get them in here now, like that, bit of butter, and this is the spam, that's, that's, the, that's basically the difference, that's the difference, and I have brown sauce as well, this is the brown sauce choice of today, I've got loads of them, because I did a comparison, which brown sauce is the best, and this one is an Aldi, for that, and you stick a fried egg on there can't you as well, a fried egg on it. This is the bacon grill. Mm. <laughs> mm. No, oh, lovely. Smoked bacon, basically. That's what it is. Not a lot of fat came out in the air fryer, I'll be honest. Oh, on fresh white bread as well, butter, with butter. Mm. I like them both. I do apologise for talking with me mouth full. I've got no paper towels neither, so the tea towel's taking a hit. I like them both. I do like them both. I do like smoked bacon and I do like normal bacon. The Spam has got more pork in it, of, of, of to which part of the pig we do not know. <laughs> Because there's all sorts that goes in, isn't there, to it, let's be honest. There really is. And you know as well what goes into them. The bacon grill is smoky, smoky bacon, but less pork. And it's cheaper, 150 versus 245. So basically it's down to you. It really is whatever you like. You know, you're getting more bacon grill and it's cheaper. You're getting less spam and it's more expensive. So I'll let you decide. Done in the air fryer or done, it's, it's, I did it for, what did I do it for in the air fryer? 10 minutes. I did it for seven or six and four, so 10 or 11 minutes. You can do it in the, in the fryer, can't you? Stick a bit, well, I, I don't, you don't even need oil on it in a frying pan, just put it in. Non-stick pan. Equally as good, equally as good. So thanks for watching, do appreciate it, really do. Thanks for joining the membership as well. So... If I don't see you on my next video, I'll see you live at Christmas. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.